Today we're going to show you how to determine the correct genuine bearing buddy size for your trailer. What to do when you find damaged seals on the spindle and how to install a genuine bearing buddy. Before installing the new genuine, remove the dust cap, the wheel, and the hub. Clean the old grease and any contaminant out of the hub, bearing, and spindle. Replace the bearing that are damaged, rusted, or pitted. Check the condition of the spindle and rear seal. Be sure they are new, top quality, and running on a stainless steel sealing surface. Use Bearing Buddy Spindle Seal Kit to replace old or damaged seal. They will fit over your existing spindle and will help avoid grease leakage on your trailer. Now we're going to show you how to determine the correct genuine bearing buddy model size. Use a caliper to measure the outside diameter of the dust cap or the inside diameter of the hub. Using a ruler or a measuring tape will not provide an accurate measurement. When measuring the dust cap, measure in several places as it may be bent or damaged when removed. After measuring the hub or dust cap, you will be able to determine the correct size bearing buddy easily. The measurement will directly correlate with the size of the genuine bearing buddy. For example, this hub measurement 1.980th of an inch, so our model 1980 is what you would need. After ensuring that the spindle and bearing are in good condition and determining the correct model, it's time to install the genuine bearing buddy. Place the bearing buddy over the opening of the hub so the hollow side faces the bearing. Using a rubber hammer or mallet, tap the bearing buddy into place. As a substitute for the mallet, place a small block of wood on the front of the genuine bearing buddy and hit the wood to dry the bearing buddy into place. Tap around all sides until it sits flush on the hub. To the grease fitting. Fill the genuine bearing buddy and hub with a high quality multi-purpose umber 2 grade grease. We do not recommend mixing grease types. To install the bearing buddy bra, place it over the bearing buddy. Push the black rubber sealing cover all the way onto the bearing buddy and push the center nipple to drive out any air to ensure a tight fit. Bearing buddy cannot be driven into the hub or does not fit tightly. Do not force it in. Your hub might be slightly over or undersized. If this occurs, stop installing the Genuine Bearing Buddy. Contact your dealer or Bearing Buddy Inc. at www.bearingbuddy.com.